Hey everybody, Motorport 59 here. Well, it is November 9th, the day after election day, and uh, the hope for a red wave didn't happen. I didn't think it would. I had a discussion yesterday, had coffee with my buddy about that, and he was uh, absolutely certain that, that it was going to happen. Uh, I will admit that in the last election, I was truly surprised that Joe Biden won the presidency. Uh, it just proved to me, though, that the uh, voting base of the Democrat Party are just brainless. They just are brainless. I don't care how educated you are. I don't care what you think you know. You know nothing. If you can listen to someone like Joe Biden and still vote for him. Because if you did that, if you were actually paying attention, I should say, you would never have voted for him. You voted for him because you hated Donald Trump. You didn't have the country's best interests in mind, nothing. You just had your own feelings and your own opinion in mind, and that's all you cared about, and it's all you still care about. But having seen what happened in the last election, I just didn't think there was going to be a red wave. There are just too many uh, uninformed unimaginative, unproductive people in the Democrat voting base who don't care. They don't care about America. They don't care what's good for the country. They don't care what's good for their state. Uh, Fetterman, really? I mean, come on, there is no way. And, I, and don't get me wrong, I'm no huge fan of Oz, but Fetterman is incapable of running a state. He's incapable of it. Let me go back to uh, Woodrow Wilson's presidency after he had his stroke. And we didn't have the media coverage of that kind of thing that we have now. But, I, it, it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the media never questioned anything that Woodrow Wilson's wife said that he wanted to do. And, and that's the, uh, what historians say, that essentially till the end of his presidency, she ran the White House. Uh, she and a couple of advisors and... Who knows what Woodrow Wilson actually had to say because he didn't make public appearances and he made no more speeches for the rest of his presidency. But for a person who has had a stroke and can't talk and can't connect thoughts, I mean, I've been around a lot of people who have had strokes in my personal life and sometimes they uh, aren't affected the way Fetterman has been, but sometimes they have and they never, ever, fully recover from that. It's it's a terrible thing that that happened to him, but it's a scary thing that people just voted for him because of their hatred of the right. It has absolutely nothing to do with what's best for the country, just or their state, just what's worse for the right. That's all they think about. But uh, anyway, my buddy was convinced that there were enough Democrats who are tired of all this that uh, it was going to make a difference, and I just didn't think there were. I told him, I said, there's still more stupid people that are out there than there are pissed off Democrats. And uh, I'm going to do a piece about watching news and what you get from certain channels. But my my buddy watches Fox News religiously. He just told me the other day, did yesterday, he said that's all I watch. That's all I watch. I don't watch any of that stuff. I see clips and I see highlights, but I do not watch it. And I think that's why he felt that way, because that's what Fox News is going to uh, talk about, are the Democrats that are pissed off. They talk about the Democrats that are stupid and brainless, too, but they don't talk about how the uh, thoughtful Democrats are so vastly outnumbered by those who are uninformed and unimaginative. I don't know. Uh, I'm not angry. I'm not surprised, and I'm not angry, I'm disappointed, and I fear for my country. Uh, California's doomed. I live in California. California, it didn't make any difference who I voted for or, 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 or any of that. And I haven't looked to see how any of the propositions went. I, today, I just don't care. I have other things to think about. Um, I don't, I'm not going to immerse myself in this anymore, and uh, it is what it is. And being mad about it does me no good, doesn't, doesn't do anyone any good. You can yell and scream and jump up and down, and these people are still elected. Uh, 
I'm already hearing things about voter fraud in some states and uh, I don't know. Again, I haven't really watched any news other than some of the top results. But again, as in the last election, I just, I don't know. I know there was voter fraud. That's been proven. And just because some liberal uh, circuit judge said that there wasn't proof of any means nothing. But uh, I don't know it was enough to sway the entire election last time. And I don't know that it's enough this time. I think the problem is in the last election, as I've said before, it was the rhinos. If we had the rhinos on our side, if the rhinos would have had their wits about them uh, in the last election, Joe Biden would never have been elected. And uh, this time it wasn't so much about the rhinos as just about the thoughtless, short-sighted, narrow-minded people on the left. So they don't care about the country. They don't care about their state. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, my uh, the only thing I can do is vote. And if I don't, if it doesn't turn out my way, well, I did my part. I don't know. How do you feel about it? Did you expect a red wave? Were you surprised when one didn't happen? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motopoet59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content, and we'll see you all later.